7.6 uh, Control of monitoring and measuring equipment. The organization shall determine the monitoring and measurement to be undertaken and the monitoring and measuring equipment needed to provide evidence of conformity of product to determined requirements. The organization shall establish processes to ensure that monitoring and measurement can be carried out and are carried out in a manner that is consistent with the monitoring and measurement requirement. Where necessary to ensure valid results, measuring equipment shall a. be calibrated or verified or both at specified intervals or prior to use against measurement standards traceable to international or national measurement standards. Where no such standards exist, the basis used for calibration or verification shall be recorded. C 4.2.4 b be adjusted or readjusted as necessary. C. Have identification in order to determine its calibration status. D. Be safeguarded from adjustments that would invalidate the measurement result. E. Be protected from damage and deterioration during handling, maintenance and storage. In addition, the organization shall assess and, re and record the validity of the previous measuring results uh, when the equipment is found not to conform to requirements. The organization shall take appropriate action on the equipment and any product affected. Records of the results of calibration and verification shall be maintained. See 4.2.4 when used in the monitoring and measurement of specified requirements, the ability of computer software to satisfy the intended, the intended application shall be confirmed. This shall be undertaken prior to initial use and reconfirmed as necessary. Note, uh, confirmation of the ability of computer software to satisfy the intended application would typically include its verification and configuration, um, and configuration management to maintain its suitability for use. 8. Uh, measurement, analysis and improvement. 8.1 General. The organization shall plan and implement the monitoring, measurement, analysis and improvement processes needed. A. To, de to demonstrate conformity to product requirements. B. To ensure conformity of the quality management system. And C. To continually improve the effectiveness of the quality management system. This shall include the determination of applicable methods, including statistical techniques, and the extent of their, of their use. 8.2. Monitoring and measurement. 8.2.1. Customer satisfaction. As one of the measurement of the performance of the quality management system, the organization shall monitor information relating to customer perception as to whether the organization has met customer requirements. The methods for obtaining and using this information shall be determined. Note, uh, monitoring cu customer perception can include obtaining input from sources such as customer satisfaction surveys, customer data on delivered product quality, user opinion surveys, lost business analysis, compliments, warranty claims and dealer reports. 8.2.2 Internal Audit the organization shall con conduct internal audits at planned intervals to determine whether the quality management system a. conforms to the planned arrangements C 7 .1, to the requirements of this international, standards, uh, this international standard and to the quality management system re requirements established by the organization and b. is effectively implemented and maintained. An audit program shall be planned, taking into consideration the status and importance of the processes and areas to be audited, as well as the results of previous audits. The audit criteria, scope, frequency and methods shall be defined. The selection of auditors and conduct of, uh, and conduct of audits shall ensure objectivity and imp impartiality of the audit process. Auditors shall not audit their own work. A documented procedure shall be established to define the responsibilities and requirements for planning and conducting audits, establishing records and reporting results. Records of the audits and their, uh, and their results shall be maintained. See 4.2.4. 
The management respon responsible for the area being audited shall ensure that any necessary corrections and corrective actions are taken without undue delay to uh, eliminate uh, detected nonconformities and their causes. Follow-up activities shall include the verification of the actions taken and the reporting of verification results. C8.5.2 8.2.3 8 Monitoring and measurement of processes the organization shall apply uh, suitable methods for monitoring and, where applicable, measurement of the quality management system processes. These methods shall demonstrate the ability of the processes to achieve planned results. When planned results are not achieved, correction and corrective action shall be taken as appropriate. Note, when determining suitable methods, it is advisable that the organization consider uh, the type and extent of monitoring of m or measurement appropriate to each of its processes in relation to their impact on the conformity to product requirements and on the effectiveness of the quality management system. 8.2.4 Monitoring and Measurement of Product the organization shall monitor and measure the characteristics of the product to verify that product requ requirements have been met. This shall be carried out at appropriate stages of the product realization process in accordance with the planned arrangement, C7.1. Evidence of conformity with the acceptance criteria shall be maintained. Records shall indicate, uh, the, shall indicate the persons authorizing release of product for delivery to the customer, C4.2.4. The release of product and delivery of service to the customer shall not proceed until the planned arrangements, C10.1, have been satisfactorily completed, unless otherwise approved by a relevant authority and, where applicable, by the customer.